All right, Jason, Hollis Farms this morning is still a little cool outside, not just too bad, but didn't have a whole lot going on this morning, still trying to get everything ready for racing. So me and Pete come in the shop. As y'all can see, we got the heater on. All right, here's what I got, what I'm gonna work on this morning for a little bit, and then we'll get into something else. Got my new Simpson helmet out. Oh, this is what they call a race saver. And what this thing does for y'all that don't know, the reason, you know, I got the new helmet with the earmuffs in it versus the earbuds. But when you're racing, when you get out there, it works pretty good. I had done this a time or two before I quit racing, but they, had, they hadn't really got into it when I quit. But now everywhere you go, got these things. It really works out good, especially for qualifying. <clears throat> Used to, of course, that you've got a uh, monitor deal, I forget what they call that thing that goes on your car, and that counts your lap times, but the good thing about this, the, the other part that you put on your car, it allows for three to four cars, five cars to be out there at one time qualifying. It just counts the laps. Nobody's up there with a stopwatch and stuff anymore really consistent oh uh, but the good thing about this race saver where you can listen to them uh, as soon as a car starts spinning or something if if the fella that's talking and running it right says it quick enough it'll save a lot of wrecks and plus when you everybody's there racing and you and you uh have a caution and get lined back up they can talk to you in your ear and tell you where you go and it just makes things go a lot quicker oh uh, with the earbuds, I've usually got a long cord and I usually strap this to my seat belts. But what I'm wanting to do today, I'm gonna, we're gonna see, I got some Velcro and we're gonna see, I got a buddy of mine that's got his on the side of his helmet. That's, that way everything's there all the time. You ain't gotta hook it up, hook it up. I have had my hands kind of get in the wires when I was racing and tightened my belts and pulled it out. And it's just aggravating once you get all that on to not take your helmet off and hook it back up. So we are fixing to try to fasten this little dude to the helmet so we can have it all in one. One thing that I have got to get down here at the shop that I don't have yet, I just brought up the barn and brought me a chair down here. I've got to get me a table. Right now, I've got a piece of plywood on top of the garbage can. But it'll work for now if I don't knock y'all off. Let me get up and make sure y'all in focus. I may have to do something else here to make sure. But what this thing's gonna do, this garbage can's gonna be a little shaky, y'all bear with me. Oh. This cord comes out of there and plugs into here. So I'm hoping to be able to mount this thing right there because this little doohickey, all it is is a, a little plastic case. And then you, I've lost the, the cap to it, but you put your battery in there, pop it in there. So I'm gonna do my best to mount that thing right there. I got in my seat yesterday. I don't think it's gonna be in the way. I need to see if I wanna do it like so i'm gonna play with this just a minute and we'll see if we can't get it i want to break this plastic off and where i can mount it flush and i may do that here in just a second but i'm not sure if it's gonna hold that velcro that i got says it holds up to 15 pounds but you know who knows i'm gonna play with this just a second and then i'll be back with y'all and we'll see if this is gonna work. I'm gonna do it right the first time. All right, y'all, I have about decided this is gonna work. I ain't got any scissors down there, so I'm gonna see if he's... Oh yeah, them 10 snips are cut. May have to do just a little, I may leave it big for now. And see if it'll work. 
I'm going to put this part on the helmet, I believe, and then leave the little fuzzy part on this. I'm going to, I would like to mount it like that to where I can read it, but when I got my helmet on there, I got more of a flat surface. It's got this clip on this side. I'm going to leave that just in case it don't work. I would rather, it's a little thin surface there. If I get over here, I can get a wider surface, and I think it'll hold better. Just got to figure out where I'm going to put it. It's kind of, you don't want to mess up a, a new helmet. I may can trim it after I get on there. If I leave it kind of big like that, I don't, I think I'll be easier to adjust. All right, I got the part mounted on the helmet. Now I gotta trim me a piece of this other to put on a little case for the receiver. And then we'll stick it on and see how it works. I'm gonna go a little big. That way I can adjust it and play with it and see which way it's gonna work best. All right, y'all, here we go. I think this is gonna work. I went ahead and put a pretty, pretty big square piece on the side of the helmet. When I got in the car yesterday, I felt, of course, you're going left all the time, so your head's going to be going this way. I felt like I had enough space here to where it won't be hitting between my helmet and the seat. I had to make sure again. So put a pretty big piece there. Wires hanging out right there. And like I said, this uh, the receiver case has got a clip on this side where you clip it on your belts or something. So I didn't put the, and I had more surface on this side for the Velcro. So I can take this dude. I'm gonna be better. I think I can put it at an angle. I don't know. I don't think it'll fall out, but let me, y'all listen to this. You get her put in there. This is some pretty good Velcro. I actually got this for a mic for one of my cameras and I had never used it, but. I mean, you gotta get after it pretty hard. So, I get that stuck on there, cut my receiver on and turn the volume up. It's gonna kinda be in here upside down, but that's fine, I ain't looking at it anyway, as long as it's on. Pop it in there. Left enough to plug it up. I believe it'll work, and if I think that's a little too tight, I can turn it at just a little bit of an angle. That thing clip kind of pops in there. I don't believe it'll ever come out. Man, I like that. That's gonna be, and usually when I put a battery in them at the beginning of the night, just leave it on, set your helmet over there, and I usually got a plug up, buckle up. Now all I gotta do is grab my helmet and put it on. You gotta pull pretty hard to get it off. It's kind of around, round just a little bit there. It's not a perfect flat surface, but I don't believe it'll go anywhere. I like it. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put me a batch of tear-offs on here and get this thing ready. That looks custom right there, don't it? Cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put me a sleeve of tear-offs on this thing. If I can get my fingers to operate and get this paper off. Alright, I always just... Let me get y'all off there where y'all can see. My table y'all sitting on a little wobbly. Alright, I'll tear off. Let me get this thing on there started now. Show y'all, for those of y'all who have never seen. I tear off with my right hand, so I just stick the left side on there. Got some. No, they're on the outside. Oh, I just stick the left side on there. We may have to adjust these buttons a little bit. Well, maybe not. It looks pretty good. Making sure I ain't got them upside down. I don't believe it, dude. You have to hit these things right, or when you tear them off, you got a little sticky part on there and you can't see. I 
I believe that's right. All right, so I'm gonna tear off on this side, and these things are always 10 in a, in a little sleeve packed together, so we're gonna take one, pop it on there. I may have to tighten them up. But what I do, take one there, fold it over, and then you take your second one, and you put it on top of them and fold it over. And what that does, when you reach and grab one, when you go on, you, it'll, it'll make that next one kind of stand up where you can feed it. If you just leave them flat and not apart, you, you'll end up tearing the whole thing off at one time and it won't work right. And right, I'm gonna have to do just a little bit of adjusting on these knobs to make these things straight. Sports man, 450 out. I hadn't used this thing just a whole lot, but I know I'm gonna carry it racing with me when we go out of town, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up a little bit. It's just crazy how nasty stuff can get just sitting in the barn. Pete's mad because I, I may hear him in the background. I put him in the box, I didn't want him to get soaking wet this morning, it's too cold. shining again looking good ain't she all right y'all we didn't have just a whole lot going on today Pete's out there rambling around but anyway we got a couple of little projects done got the helmet fixed where I think we like it and got the old four-wheeler cleaned up if y'all like our stuff subscribe to us Hollis Farms hats t-shirts and stickers hollisfarms.com appreciate y'all watching out of here.